The Minecraft end update is finally here. Mojang has updated the end with new refurbished end towers, as well as 24 new biomes, all with different features such as blocks, mobs, items, weapons, and armor, and much, much more. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so I know you're still with me. Don't forget to like as well because our next topic is new mobs, which includes the dragonfly, endfish, cuboza, which are basically just like jellyfish, end slimes, which vary by biome, silk moths, which live in hives like bees, and shadow walkers, which are super creepy. Next topic we'll be talking about is structures, like this neon cactus. Within every biome, there is a possibility of finding ruined end ships that granted don't have as much loot as a regular end ship does, but still pretty cool to find. End villages can also be found now throughout the end, living in new houses. Keep in mind though that these villages are not easy to find, so definitely stay on your toes when looking for these. Next, we'll be talking about items, ores, and armor, which as you can see here, there's a lot that is new in this upcoming update. And what we have here is Ender Ore, Thalassium Ore, Amber Ore, and Aurora Crystals, which all are used to create new end armor. Next over here, we have new chests with eight different variants of wood and as a final ore that needs to be made in a new crafting item called the end smelter which i will show you all now with end smelters you are only able to smelt things using coal blocks and not regular coal and it allows you to smelt two items together which in this case will be using netherite and terminite once the item is smelted it will make the final ore type which is aeternium ingots which with these can be used to craft armor tools and other items within the game lastly we will be going over one of the coolest features mojang added which is infusing which basically with the right materials on the right podiums will transform items such as this helmet into an even better helmet which this one is called the crystalline helmet and personally my favorite in the new update this new item in the middle by the way is called the infusion pedestal make sure to place eight in the exact format surrounding the infusion pedestal so that the infusions work when done correctly the other addition to this update which i think is the coolest is new elytras which one is crystallized elytra and the other is an armored elytra all right everyone i have a confession to make and now don't get mad or riot or something but this update isn't real none of what i said is real it's all fake a lie a facade and yeah please don't shoot me thank you but to be more realistic with you all this is the real 1.21.30 update that's happening villagers trading menu has been updated where now the trading menu is on the left and to the right is your inventory and above that is the villagers menu they also have altered some trades with villagers such as the shepherd which has new trades and that's basically everything mojang has done with villagers the next big addition which most people have asked for is bundles with bundles you can put multiple items into this bag or a whole stack of something depending on what you need to carry which is very good for compartmentalizing items next to show how this is crafted what you need is one leather and one string which in order to make in the crafting table, you put the string in the middle and the leather under it. And then you have a bundle. You can also put bundles inside one another, which I don't know why you would do that, but you can if you want to. But if you're also sick of just the regular colored bundle, there are 16 variant colors of the bundle of which you can make in a crafting table. But that is pretty much everything relevant to this new 1.21.30 update coming soon. And hopefully on September 28th, when Minecraft Live happens, we will get more insider info on what's to come to Minecraft. Granted, even though I lied in this video, Mojang Jang has teased in the past with other YouTubers about the end update possibly happening, but we'll never know. But thank you all for watching. And if you did enjoy and don't hate me for trying to make a living, then make sure to subscribe and tune in for Minecraft Live September 28th. I will also be live streaming it that day when it releases to see if Mojang has a lot more planned than what has been given to us in these little snapshots. But anyways, goodbye.